Hello there guys, Future Master back here again with another tutorial. Uh, this is a follow-up tutorial to my previous uh, Terraria tutorial in the Click Team Fusion 2.5. Um, I just finished up with the terrain and uh, today I'm going to get started and showing you how uh, to uh, randomly generate your, ter your uh, Terraria world. Um, I just like to say uh, I took a uh, year-long break in there uh, mostly due to the fact that I had uh, forgotten my password, uh, but I figured it all out, and I am back again. I hope to uh, be uh, pumping out quite a few videos here in the next week or so. So uh, uh, remember to uh, like and subscribe if you like the stuff, uh, and also comment down below if you have anything you'd like me to do a tutorial on. I'm more than happy to uh, take your guys' suggestions. Uh, but for now, uh, let's hop into it. So, uh, random generation is one of the things that sets a uh, Terraria game a apart from just being a game with a bunch of blocks in it. It's an adventure game. Everything, every time you hop into a new world, uh, everything in it is going to be newly generated. Uh, if you haven't already seen my first tutorial, check it out. This is how you will get to this uh, part of the, uh, the thing here. Um, as you can see here, we have nothing in the event editor. We're going to change that. So, first off, in random generation, we're going to want caves. Okay? So, caves that are just randomly sprawled around the map. Uh, just openings within. So, nothing too complex. What we're going to want for that is this thing. So, I actually made this for my other t uh, other Terraria world. I finished the Terraria world. I finished the entire uh, game, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it. Because I'm not going to leave you hanging. Uh, pretty much what this is, is this is a cave maker. So, it's real simple to make. All you have to do is make some weird shape like thing uh, make it as random as you want because that's the point it has to be random because uh, caves don't you know they don't look natural you know or well <laughs> they don't look uh, you know they don't look synthetic they don't look you know made um, they look like they're just randomly there and you know they're jagged and they're rough so you just want to make it as random as possible you're gonna make four shapes uh, in the frames here so four random looking shapes here um, and you want to set the direction options to make sure you have speed zero. This means that this isn't going to run as an animation. If you see here, we can play. Alright, and this, oh, sorry about that. Apparently this, yeah, there we go, better. Make sure that's create for start. You see here, uh, this is going to remain that first animation. Uh, as you can see here, it was bouncing. You're going to want to set it to a bouncing ball movement and set these directions as it's starting. Positions. Uh, head into the uh, event editor. Uh, click New Collision, and you're going to want to do a every. Let's see, what we got here. Actually, let's do this first. Uh, first off, I'm going to explain exactly what's going on here. So, when the world starts up, these things are going to move around the map, right? And so. Uh, these things are going to move around the map, and pretty much everything they touch, they're going to destroy. So this makes natural caves. So, and it should be completely random. Um, so for starters, let's apply a few things to this. First off, when this sucker... Actually... Before we do any of this, let's give every single block here. So the grass, the stone, and the dirt. Let's give them all this qualifier of being a player. It doesn't really mean anything, it's just a random qualifier. Uh, if you know what qualifiers are, those set every uh, individual active object to a same group. So then I can do something like this. Collisions between qualifiers. So every time this guy collides with any of these blocks, he's going to destroy those. So if you watch here, when we set into the frame, I apologize, this happens sometimes. Here, I'll pause. As you can see, uh, it makes a uh, it makes little indent there, uh, and you can't see much here. Uh, oh, did I not widen this frame? Uh, it doesn't look like I did. Okay, well here I can change that here. Um, yeah, you, you are gonna want to do this real quick. I guess I didn't do this in my last tutorial. Uh, you're gonna want to go head over to tear, or I, that's why I call it Terraria. Uh, head over to the properties of here, and depending on your laptop size or your computer size, it's gonna be different. Uh, my laptop, 
runs at the settings 1250 and 650. So pretty much what that is, is when I open it up, it covers the entirety of the screen. So you can get a nice big view rather than having this little tiny box. Uh, so I would I would mess around with it and see what your settings are because it all depends on your monitor size. The bigger the monitor, the more space you're going to be able to see. Um, but as you can see, it, it, it makes indents here. Um, and to make sure that this is random, we're going to want to head into here. Okay, so uh, what you're going to want to do here uh, is you're going to want to make pretty much a circuit active. So this active is going to exist primarily just to spawn in this. Uh, so it depends how many caves you want in your system, but for now we're going to put in, let's see right here, put in five of these actives. So we're going to have five of these little cave uh, object thing running around. Um, so I'll show you how to program these in. First off, make all of these invisible and turn off these two things. Alright. And then from here, we're going to head into. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Head into here. Uh, and we're going to want to set it so that. Uh, so that, uh, let's see. Do start a frame. Set the position of this object. And we're going to want to head over here to. So here. No, 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 no. We want to position. Uh, set X coordinate. Here we go. We're going to do a random range. So uh, if you made the map as large as I made the map, this should fit exactly. So for X coordinate, these are the values you want. No, oh, that's not supposed to be there. And for Y coordinate, these are the values you want. And when you do that, these guys will spawn randomly within your plane. Um, and you're also going to want to set after this to create the actives on these. So, oh, wait a second. Also set this off. See here? Uh, no, you can't see right here. It's not a very good example because it's not clear within this window. But five of these guys are going to spawn randomly within your world area. And they're going to start making caves for you. Now, there's four of these here. That's because you want this to be as random as possible. You want this to change from this state to this state to this state randomly. So you're going to want to go over here, set, give it an alternative value. Alternative value A works. That's fine. I hit every let's do an expression. So a thousand of the second. So every random range. Uh, let's do 500 to uh, 2,000. There you go. Your 500 to th random 2,000 uh, is going to set. Uh, what is this? Set. Uh, turn a string to one. Now you want to do this. I'll turn a string to two. I'll turn a string to three. I'll turn a string to four. Then you want to set on here. If the alternative string A is equal to one, then the animation is going to change animation frame to zero. So it's going to show this. If it is two is going to force the frame to 1. As you see here, it will change randomly on this basis. And therefore, your caves are just going to look weird and wacky and cave-like. Um, that's about it. That's about all you need to do for your random generation. Uh, there's also random ore generation, um, but I didn't have quite enough time to show you that in this video, so I think I might be able to sneak it into the other one. Or I can show you it some other time. Uh, thank you guys for watching us. Uh, make sure to like uh, and subscribe if you enjoyed all of it. Um, and uh, post down below anything you want to see. Uh, that'll be it for now.